<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If y'all are new here, my name is Caroline and you should totally subscribe and join the man fam. to going solo diaries i know it's been a fat minute since i uploaded an episode of this but welcome to episode four drew is checking on the village clash clan i love it someone please go destroy his town just for me today's video as you read by the title i am moving out my room isn't like completely empty yet but it's gonna get there very soon i'm gonna go up to boise very very quickly this is just one of the many videos that you're gonna see and drew's joining me in boise do you want to say anything? What's up? I'm Drew. At the shelf. At the shelf. You guys, cleaning out my closet was a process. It definitely made me realize that I need to stop being a hoarder and thin out my closet. So that's exactly what I did. So first thing I did was go through all of my clothes. I did this three ways. I left them on the rack if I wanted to keep them here because I am gonna be going to Cancun and Seaside. So I do need these clothes here. The second pile was on the ground where I'm either giving it to Goodwill or packing it. And then the last pile is everything that I'm gonna be taking with me to Boise. Definitely a lot going on. I found it to be really satisfying. For the suitcase situation, this was also a lot too. I have four super large suitcases that Miss Rhonda's family let me borrow because when we go up there, they're all coming up with me to help me move in. And because we're flying Southwest, we get two luggages to check in. So you already know I'm taking advantage of that. I'm gonna put the ones that I want to give away inside of that bag. But I'm kind of proud of my packing so far. I feel like I've squeezed a lot in there. So I filled up four suitcases with all my clothes, hats, belts, purses, shoes. Yeah, it was a whole MF process, let me tell you. But I got it done and I just feel so much more relieved. I'm also really glad that I was able to give a bunch of clothes to Goodwill because secondhand shopping is a great way to get new clothes. There were some really cute pieces, so I hope people find them. <laughs> I felt like Santa Claus this morning, putting this big old bag in my trunk. Welcome to day two. Good morning, guys. Today is literally gonna be such a busy day. I've got so much work to do with getting everything packed up, dropping stuff off at Goodwill, and then just getting all of my social media work done. So, main priority is hydrate. Thank you, Casetify, for sending me this cute little water bottle. It literally has my name on it, and I'm obsessed. First, I gotta be in babysitter mode. I'm gonna go pick up Cassidy and drop her off at her friend's house for like a play date or whatever. So I'm gonna do that. And then it's grind time. Oh. Okay, Drake's new album, Unpopular Opinion. I freaking love it. It is so good. Especially this song called Massive. I feel like I'm at a club when I listen to it. Hi guys. <laughs> Where are you going? Charlotte. We just had a little fun chit chat. We just have a little girl talk. Okay, have fun. Love you. Bye. Love Bye. You. Okay, time to go to Goodwill. <sighs> I was debating whether or not to put my stuff on Poshmark because I love Poshmark. I've used it for years, but I already have some stuff up on there. So I think my username is in the description. If not, I'll put it on the screen, but I have some clothes up there that are pretty cute. I just don't want to go through the hassle of putting these things for sale because I just don't have time. I'm leaving so soon to Boise. All right, I've been working for the past four and a half hours. My eyes feel dead, so I'm pulling out the camera. This is the last big suitcase that I have at the moment. I literally just realized how many freaking hair products I have, like curling stuff, straightening all that so the state of my bathroom looks like a war happened there's all this and then i still need to go through all of my drawers and stuff so i think i'm gonna do that right now all right so i've got a bunch of like these cute little bags from birthday gifts and brands so what i'm thinking is i'm gonna go through all the stuff that i probably will not be using when i come back for 
my two trips are just things that I'm gonna need here so I've got like self tanning drops which I know I'm not gonna need because I literally got so tan after I came back from California I've got a bunch of products in here and then up here I am gonna miss this though this makes me so sad I'm just gonna put all of these in here. This is the best self tanner, by the way. If any of y'all are like interested, I only use Lux Unfiltered. These are their self tanning drops on your face. Did a little bit of damage. Definitely shouldn't have done this because I have to pack everything and I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough room for all this, but I love shopping. I hung out with Lexi today and she got me a little gift. And then we went shopping on Mercer Street in my town. And just like southern local shops that have the cutest things. So I'm going to show you guys what I got from there. But first I'm going to do a haul of what Lexi got me for my graduation gift. Basically like a housewarming gift because all of this I'm going to use for my house. So first off you guys look at how cute this is. She got me a towel that says sea slime on it. I'm obsessed with this and I think this is going to be so perfect for my bathroom. Also, how creative is that? She's the most thoughtful person ever. Then she got me a Nordstrom chai, which is my favorite. Every time I go to Nordstrom Cafe, I hit up their e-bar and get a lavender chai. So all I need is lavender syrup, but their chai is amazing. And then last but not least, she got me a volcano candle. Capri Blue, literally the best. I think I have like 25 candles from Volcano and it's all for my new house cannot wait they just smell so freaking good all right so i'm gonna put that down there first from mazama's which is this coffee shop that i've grown up going to since i was little i decided to get a hat from there to kind of remember it because i'm obviously going to be moving away so i just got their white signature logo hat in a polo super duper cute looks really cute on as well and if you'll ever find yourself in dripping springs go to mazama's and then i went to this super cute store in the owner of it was literally an angel. There's just something about Southern hospitality that is so unbeatable. I was reminded of that today. I'm definitely gonna miss it when I go to Idaho. First off, I got an American flag. Definitely gonna put this in the new house somewhere. When we go up to Boise, it's gonna cover the weekend of 4th of July. This is very festive, perfect for it. I love America, so. Then I got the cutest little salt and pepper shakers. This is so me. Lexi was like, you have to get this. Hopefully you guys can see this, but it's strawberry, pepper, and salt shakers. I love strawberries. Go stream sour strawberry. <laughs> that was a must. And then I also got a candle that was burning whenever we walked in. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is that candle? I'm buying it right now. I wish that you guys could smell it. It's hand poured in Texas and it's called Buck Naked. This candle is unreal. It smells so amazing and it burns for 120 hours. It was such a good day to go shopping. I have a bunch more things I need to do, like go through all my makeup and throw out the ones that I don't want. And then I'm also gonna take down my YouTube plaques and get them ready to be packed. <laughs> morning by rearranging everything and kind of doing a last minute transformation and don't worry i filmed the whole thing that'll be up on my youtube channel after this video i cleaned out my room it was a very productive day <laughs> I literally just woke up. Sorry if I look 
like I got hit by a bus. This is the plan for today. Drew is coming over at eight o'clock and I'm gonna make him some breakfast and then we're gonna go together to the Audi dealership in South Austin and get my car serviced, like an oil change, everything. My dad really wants a good inspection before I go off to Boise. Yeah, the appointment's at nine. Not really sure how long we're gonna have to wait. in the car service um we've been here since 9 and it's 10 41 and right now we're doing today's wordle so we're gonna see who gets it first i, I need your hot spot i, I need your hot spot i just got in <laughs> i need your hot spot y'all just missed my monster burp my mom goes exactly what is it tell me <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Stop. Stop. All done. All done. All by now. <laughs> We're waiting for the car. <gasps> Drew, I think they cleaned it. Oh, yeah. Look at the seats. It's not as much. Sailor mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Drew doesn't like cussing. I don't. <laughs> no, we're going to Jimmy John's first. Let's get that straight out of the way. I'm hungry. Parking room? I don't know. Gotta move this up. Yeah, so we're gonna get Jimmy John's. I've never had Jimmy John's before, but Drew likes it and says it's really good. Okay, the parking brake's on. What? is on all right yeah and then we're gonna go to target and i'm gonna get drew's mom a birthday gift i'm so glad that my car is all good to go for idaho but i am gonna need to get tires whenever i get there because yeah it's not looking good anyways really mm -hmm. <laughs> two days until i leave and today we are packing some of the stuff that i've got in my dad's office so, thank you, Drew, for this suitcase. <laughs> this is sturdy. We're spending most of lives. So I'm taking all of the kitchen essentials because my dad and Uva are gonna take a lot of the like heavy stuff, things that aren't gonna be as important whenever we first get up there. Drew's taping the knives right now. And baby, we got love. But can we keep it safe enough? It's not so easy. Gonna keep us busy, busy. I'll work hard, I'll play hard. I leave in the love and I get Bring, but this these two you need to bring so then i'll put this in my suitcase should i put this in there too mm -hmm. okay so we're putting string on the suitcases because they all look alike i'm not going to be able to differentiate between them but one of this is going to miss Rhonda. she's going to take one for us <laughs> good job one day until caroline leaves for boise I was in the car yesterday and I cried for an hour. Insert photo. <laughs> I was so sad. Dude, you literally almost made me cry. I can't believe she's leaving. Like, oh. we've been best friends since sixth grade. Now she's leaving me. It's so sad. It's okay, I'm gonna visit her. Also, whenever I come back, like right before I move, like the last time, I'm gonna film a day of Maddie, Thea, and I hanging out. Because we've got like so many vlogs of us, all three. And yeah. they're always so fun to watch again. <laughs> We're gonna have one last adventure. One last hurrah. But yeah, we just went to eat and then to HEB. 
My stomach hurts. Just to like, yeah, she's like sick from it. Queso just doesn't sit right. But we just wanted to do something before she left for like the month. Drew took my place. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Guys, Maddie, Fia, and I have never all been taken at the same time. I'm in a weird situation right now. Like, I'm talking to someone, but I'm not. Like, I don't know if they like me, but then when I ask, they say they do. Drop advice, guys. Yeah, help me, please. Because, like, he'll say, like, compliment me, and then, like, leave me on the liver. And what? She says it's not worth it. It probably isn't. It's not. Okay, I'm gonna pack my makeup. Because tomorrow I'm not gonna wear any to the airport. That I've got somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my teeth look really white right now. I need to re whiten them. There was a lot that was going on. I don't know how you have so much. I've got my personal suitcase packed with like my shower products and the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing to the airport and stuff. But yeah, everything else is packed. Literally, I have to show you guys my drawers right now because they look so empty. Like, it's so, so sad. I'm reading this funny thing, I'll show you. All right, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, don't do anything. I love y'all so much. Get ready for the rest of Going Solo Diaries. I'm so excited and yeah. I'll see you in my next video. Ciao.